Hey guys, uh, another video from us just to make sure you can keep physically active uh, and happy and healthy in your home. Again with uh, Waterford Sports Partnerships tutor Sarah Hearn. This is a fantastic video, four minutes, uh, just showing what you can do with the chair in your own home. Adapt these kind of exercises, this is a real kind of uh, tone and go kind of activity. So enjoy it, um, keep safe, keep happy and keep moving. Hello everybody. We're going to do a workout at home today using our chair. So we're going to do some squats to start with. We're going to do proper forearm squats while we have the time to kind of take to do these. So if you sit on the edge of your chair, as you can see, I'm on the edge, but not too close to the edge. Then you walk your feet out so they're in line. Feet are under the knees and a nice straight line from hip to knee. Generally, you wouldn't have too high or too low of a leg there. So this is the perfect height for this. So I'm gonna walk my feet just in a tiny bit, make sure they're nice and sturdy under the knee, and we're going to stand up straight. Just stand up and squeeze the glutes. Okay, so now what we want to do is roll our shoulders back and down. We're going to do 10 of those. Tip the chair and back up. So lean back towards the chair and up. Down and up. For 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Now let's sit back down. Let's place our hands on the side of the chair. Now you might want to make sure that your chair is resting against something that it won't shift backwards while you're doing these exercises. So we'll use the table. So let's sit on the chair. We're going to use either the sides or the front. The front is a bit narrow, so you have to put your hands in under your bottom. So exact same with the legs. Roll those shoulders back for posture. Same with the legs. We're going to walk out a couple of steps. And we have shoulders back and down, 90 degree angle in the knees. And we're going to bend the elbows towards the back while dropping the bottom towards the floor. So we're going to do some dips all the way down and up. When we go down, we want to make sure our shoulders don't rise too much, so keep those low. Push up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lovely. Okay, so for our next exercise, we're going to do some push ups. What we'll do is we'll use the chair again so you can stay in the box position. Hands are under my shoulders. Legs are under my hips or slightly back a bit. And we're basically going to bend the elbows back towards the hips. Nice flat back. Drop from the hip and drop the nose towards the chair like so. All the way down and all the way up. Now there's a little bit of hamstring flexibility needed there so I'm going to bend my knees. All the way down and all the way up. This is a beginner push up for 10. If you need to make it a bit harder. Step the legs out to the back, plank position, and same thing, down and up. As you can see, I was a little bit close there, I'm gonna stand back, down and up. Just make sure your chair can take the weight at the front of it. Mine is gonna struggle in a little bit. For 10, nine, eight, and so on, 10 reps. So that's squats, dips, push-ups. So now let's do some mountain climbers. We set that chair, make sure it's nice and strong. We're going to come down, hold the chair into our lunge position first to make sure we're nice and strong, back flat, and then extend the other leg. So we can start with a plank here, nice and strong. I'm gonna lift one arm and show you through the core. It's nice and tight. I'm gonna try and keep no rotation through the hips, keep it nice and steady. If you feel the stomach begin to drop, that's enough of that. So push up through the back and step yourself back in. We want to hold that for about 30 seconds. Hold your plank. And then we do our mountain climbers. Knees to chest. Get the rhythm. If you're able to, step it up a little bit more. Keep that head and neck neutral. And knees up high. 30 seconds. And that's round one. We repeat this. 
three more times. Should take about 15, 20 minutes. And then we can do our stretches. So that was dips, squats, dips, push-ups, and mountain climbers with a plank. Enjoy.